12th chapter, verse number 15 to 17. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskutya Naram Cheva Narottamam Devim Sarasvatim Vyasam Tatojayam Udhirayet Nasta Prayeshu Abadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Utamas Loke Bhakti Bhatinayashtiki Satyam Vidatum Nijavutya Vasitam Vyaptin Chaputesha Kilesh Jatna Adrusya Ati Adrusya Advadarupam Stambe Sabayam Namrutam Namarusham Madhana Samadhi Bhagavan Pila getting ready for um, so, Lord Narsi Mithra's appearance day, May 22nd Wednesday. And uh, Prahlad Maharaj is the perfect example, exemplifying all these wonderful qualities as Lord Krishna himself is describing that he is the dear most. And Lord Narsi Mithra is here to put his lotus hand on his head and uh, massage him and bless him. And uh, is so much um, affectionate. For him, everybody else, he was so, everybody was so afraid, but for Lord Maharaj and for nursing these dealings are so wonderful to hear and see. Uh, so, we'll discuss this, uh, these verses, qualities of a Vaishnava devotee, a pure devotee. Verse number 15. Yasman no dvijate loko lokan no udvijate chayaha arsha amarsha baya udvege mokto esa chame priyaha Yasman no dvijate loko lokan no udvijate chayaha arsha amarsha baya udvege mokto esa chame priyaha Yasman no dvijate loko lokan no dvijate chayaha arsha amarsha vaya odvegair mukta yasa chame priyaha what word yasma from whom manava udvijate or agitated loka people loka from people manava udvijate is disturbed cha also ya anyone who Harsha from happiness, Amarsha distress, Baya fear, Udvegai and anxiety, Mukta freed, Ya who saw anyone, Cha also, me to me, Priya very dear. Translation by the Revengas is about to on some Shubhopal, Shubhopal Gijai. He by whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anyone. So two times. We see in this verse Udvega. First line, Esman na Udvijate Loko. That is what means is not devotee is not putting anyone difficulty. Then next again, Loka no Udvijate Chaya. This time he is not disturbed by him. Neither is putting somebody else, neither is disturbed by others. So that is what then two times uh, he has been mentioned in the first line. And then next, who is equally poised in happiness and distress, fear and anxiety is very dear to me. The Harsha. Amarsha, Baya, Udvega, four things, four characteristics, four states of consciousness, Vishnath Chakra, Shri Vishnath Chakra, Chakra is mentioning. Then the person, the devotee, so who is equipped in the happiness, distress, fear and anxiety is very dear to me. I repeat, he, the devotee, by whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anyone, who is equipped in happiness and distress, fear and anxiety is very dear to me. Next verse, verse number 16. Anapeksha suchir daksha udasino katav yataha sarvaramba parityagi yo madbhakta same priyaha. Anapeksha suchir daksha udasino katav yataha sarvaramba parityagi yo 
not Bhaktasame Priya. Its characteristics in the previous verse and this verse. Udvijate is twice used, and then the four characters we mentioned Harsha, Amarsha, Vaya, Udvijate, six, four plus two. Nir also use it. Anapeksha, Suchi, Daksha, three, Udasina, four, Gatavida, five, and Sarvaram, Oparityagi, six. So, six characteristics in this verse also it is mentioned. Anapeksha, Suchi, Daksha, Udasina, Gatavida, Sarvaram, Oparityagi, Yo, Mad Bhaktasame, Priyaham. Anapeksha, neutral. Suchi, pure. Daksha, expert. Udasina, free from care. Gatav Yadaha, freed from all distress, Sarva Aramba, of all endeavors, Parityagi, renouncer, yeah, anyone who, Mad Bhakta, my devotee, Sa, he, me, to me, Priya, very dear, translation by Shabhupada, my devotee who is not dependent on ordinary course of activities, who is pure, expert, without cares, Free from all pains and not striving for some result is very dear to me. My devotee was not dependent on ordinary course of activities, who is pure, expert, without cares, free from all pains and not striving for some result is very dear to me. Verse number, next verse. Verse number 17. Yona hrushyati na adveshti na sochati na kankshati subha asubha parityagi bhakti maan yasame priyam Yona hrushyati na adveshti na sochati na kankshati subha asubha parityagi bhakti maan yasame priyam Again, six qualities. Uh, looking at uh, seven verses, uh, almost uh, seven into six, forty-two, um, almost. So some of them could be um, repeated, but uh, different connotations are there. Otherwise, generally twenty-six qualities in general. For Vaishnavas, we are a little more than that. Yona rishyati na advesti na sochati na kaushati. Suva Asuva Parityagi Bhakti Manya Same Priyaha. Yeah, one who na never rushati takes pleasure, na never dvesti grieves, na never sochati laments, na never kamchati desires. Suva of the auspicious, Asuva and inauspicious, Parityagi renouncer, Bhakti Man. Devotee, yeah, one who saw he is me to me, Priya dear. Translation by Shabhupada. One who neither rejoices nor grieves, no, who neither laments nor desires, and who renounces both auspicious and inauspicious things. Such a devotee is very dear to me. Let's repeat. One who neither rejoices nor grieves. Who neither laments nor desires, and who renounces both auspicious and inauspicious things, such a devotee is very dear to me. I will try to understand this verse. These three verses we are talking about. Om Gnana Tanandasya Gnana Anjana Salakaya Chakshuran Meeritam Meeratasmai Sri Gurave Nama Mukam Karodhi Vachalam Pangam Langayate Girim Yat Krupa Tamam Mande Sri Gurum Deatar Padananda Madhavam Sri Chetan Naisra Vancha Kalpadaru Besya Krupa Sandhu Bhayavacha Patita Anam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Ananta Gurd Vaishnam Bhuti Jai Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Sri Chaitanya Mano Vishtam Stapitam Yanabhutale Svayam Rupakadamayam Dadati Swapadantikam. This is the live darshan today from Sri Dhammayapur.
Thank you very much for joining. Shri Prabhupada Goswami Prabhupada Ki Jai, Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai, Gaur Bhakti Mujhe. So we're discussing from chapter 12, Devotion Service, where it is describing three categories, three divisions of this chapter. As 11th chapter of Universal Founder is described, we have almost three weeks gap. So it's good to recap and remember what is the context, why this chapter 12 is so important, and how to develop these qualities, so how to come to this pure devotion service. Chapter 11, the universal form is described. So Lord Arjuna wants to make sure first he wants to confirm his own position whether the impersonal form is best because he has shown universal form, then he has a doubt. So many times Lord Krishna has shown seven or eight times different places to different devotees. So Mother Ishoda, Arjuna, even to Advaita Acharya, Chidana Mahaprabhu showed Utkanta. Like that, for different devotees, Lord has shown, but each one is different, uh, different level, different view. It's not same exactly. It's not duplicate. Different view according to the their rasa, their purpose, the intention. So all those things. Even Duryodhana also got, but he has a different view altogether. Uh, it's not exactly the same. So, but either way, so Arjuna wants to confirm his own position because he was a personal worshipper so he's not a personal worshipper so he wants to make sure his position and he also wants to establish the the two-handed form of krishna is the ultimate so that's the point that's the 11th chapter uh, 11th chapter 55th verse is ending with this uh, pure devotion service mat karma krun mat paramo mat bhakta sangavat nirvaira sarva bhutesh yas samami ti pandav everything must be done mat karma krun okay engage in karma activities every karma must be done for the lord's pleasure mat karma krun mat paramo you should make me as the supreme ultimate goal of life is me mat bhakta sangavat jita you should become my devotee in sangavat jita you should give up all other engagements and other things which is not allowing you to come to me internally renounce, not externally. You have to be very careful. Okay, so I'll show you the letter. So, Prabhupada has written a letter on this specific verse, verse number 15, 12 chapter, elaborate letter. You have so much concern because many times this is very much applicable to every one of us. We go through so many different problems. So, this person, this devotee has written. Uh, letter to Sri Prabhupada, he married a devotee girl. Um, she is also an advanced stage, Prabhupada says in the letter. He is also. Um, so then he expresses some desire. Then Prabhupada elaborately writes what is to be done, what is not to be done. Uh, so um, you should not be devoted and service, should not be taken. Lightly, it should be taken very carefully. Everything has to be considered carefully under the guidance of the spiritual master. Uh, it should be as per the sadhu, shastra, and guru. Mm-hmm. So that's why he's elaborately writing. Uh, and uh, he's putting that in the, his concern about the society, how a person should behave, how a person should deal with um, difficult situations, doesn't matter what. You should never give up occupation duty. Prabhupada is stressing that point. Doesn't matter at what stage, what you you must always do your occupation duty. You should never leave, give up your occupation duty. Because Krishna never said to Arjuna. Otherwise, you could have said, give up your fight, go to forest. You could have said, yes, what you said is right. And Krishna is saying, Lord Krishna is stressing, you should fight and also think of me, both. Because that duty. Initially, that's why in the chapter 12 also we are seeing this. So the Mat Karma Kuram, Mat Parma, Lord Krishna is Supreme, Mat Bhakta, you become a devotee, Sangha Vajjita, you give up all other things internally, and don't take intimate association, etc., etc. Mat Bhakta, Sangha Vajjita, Nirvaira, don't be inimical to anybody, a friend or enemy or you know, human being or not human being, a friend or not a friend, or may not like or like, whatever the case may be. Nirvaira, Sarva Bhuteshu. Yes, so that's when that verse is connecting to the this 12th chapter, the 
we can all order Krishna. It starts with Arjuna is asking the first section one to seven. Arjuna is asking the question impersonal versus personalism. So that so that is a characteristic impersonalism versus personalism. Or, um, bhakti is superior. Pure devotional service is superior to all other things, all other paths of um, all other paths of um, devotion to the Lord, um, all other paths of yoga. You can say. Then the second section is uh, the various stages of bhakti, from pure devotion, Raghunok bhakti, to Vaidhisadana bhakti, to uh, Nishkam Karma Yoga, further down like that, four or five stages Lord Krishna emphasizes. And then the third one is from verse number 13 to, yeah, 13 to all the way to 19, 20th verse is concluding, so seven verses or so. You can say eight verses Bhaktastakam, they call. Uh, it was describing qualities of pure devotee because one must know as soon as you say devotion service then you should know what is devotee means what are the qualities uh, so that's why lord is not is also included in the devotion service chapter a very important chapter this eight verses characteristics of pure devotion service also one should know uh, so in this way this chapter is divided with three characteristics Essence is Lord Krishna is in the center, Bhakti is in the center, service is in the center, chanting of the holy name is in the center, the hearing is in the center, Sangha, Sat Sangha, association of devotees even in the center. All these points are there. This chapter is talking about it from all angles of vision. By simply any one of these process can take us back home, back to Godhead and develop all these qualities. Provided attention is there, provided respect is there, provided um, absorption is there, um, provide love is there, um, so and we we have that goal. We really desire it, and we have that goal in our life, uh, internally in our heart. Um, so that is what this chapter is all about. Starting with Arjuna saying, "Evam sadhata yukta, evam paryupaste." Not just upaste means worship, but paryupaste greatly, great with great absorption. Paryupaste, echa pyaksha abhyaktam. Who is the topmost impersonal object, one who is worshipping a non-manifested, non-manifested or the manifested form, personal form of the Lord. As you can see, that Shlacha Vigra, Sri Radha Madhavastra is beautifully dressed, beautiful garlands. So, so what is the, what is the topmost? Then Lord Krishna elaborate describes the previous previous class we were describing why Lord Krishna is describing these qualities. There is a system, very systematic sequence in every chapter it is like that. Very nicely laid out. The why Lord Krishna is describing because he described the categories of devotion categories of devotees. Spontaneous devotees, Raghunam Bhakta, Vrindavan Vasis, Dwarka Vasis, Jagannath Puri Vasis, you can say like that. And then those are Vaiti Sadhana Bhaktas like us and those who cannot even practice that so they can indirectly support this process working for Lord Krishna and then they cannot then they can do just offer the result Nishkam Karma if they cannot then read the books like that Krishna is all these are so first two verses are describing first two or three verses Antaranga Bhaktas and then first two verses there basically Rachar has described that why qualities are described Lord wants to show the qualities of the Parinishtita Bhakta, Swanishtita Bhakta, those who are lower than that, and those who are Nirapeksha Bhakta. Nirapeksha Bhakta means Raghun completely, spontaneously attached. He has no material. He is not seeing anything material. Everything he is seeing only in relation with Krishna only. Whatever he sees in this material world. Every living entity, every object, every resource, everything he is not seeing anything separate from the Lord. No material vision whatsoever. So is on the, that is the highest level. That is Nera Peksha. Hmm. One of the words we, we just read. Hmm. Ana Peksha. Nera Peksha, same thing. Hmm. So, uh, Prabhupada is in that. Hmm. He says that he uses this word. This word also mentions when Prabhupada is coming through Jaladota. Hmm. Prabhupada is mentioning this verse. When I, when I was entering into the ship, hmm. Jaladota ship, uh, I had only 40 dollars. Some of the Muradji have given me the ticket. Um, then I was about to get down. I had only, I had not much money. Even that was not there. I think you had to use it for whatever. 
So then he asked the captain, so can you take some books? And so then he said, yes, so how much? Sixteen dollars. So then he has given the Srimad Bhagavatam set and then so with that sixteen dollars to Papa. So, so I am dependent on the Supreme Lord. Whatever will of the providence, anapeksha, same thing with nirapeksha. He is not seeing anything material, he is fully dependent on the Lord. So that's what nirapeksha bhakta means. He is not seeing anything material, everything is seeing in relation with the Lord only. Whatever is going on. So, so that is the nirapeksha. Then we discuss that paninishtita, um, next level, second category, one level down. One level down. So you will have the material duties also. You will not see that high level view. He has still has a material versus spiritual, that distinction is there. But while we are performing material duties, he will still have a spiritual thoughts about it, um, spiritual inclinations about it, spiritual desires, and how to utilize. So that's why he is Parinishtita. Nishta, but Parinishtita means the Lord is in the center, um, his goal. But he's not there, he's not at perfect. Right? And then Swan is says one level down further. So while he is performing even the spiritual duties also, you will have material thoughts. So, so this we have seen ourselves. We all go through this. We might be in the temple, we might be chanting, we might be hearing, we might be doing service, but other thoughts will come, material thoughts will come. Natural because we are not like mango yet, we are not perfected yet. So this will happen, that is Swan Lower than that means... Uh, their goal is not, you know, they have some or other, some interest, interest is there, prasadam or something or the other, books or kirtan, dance, or whatever, one form or the other, so they may attract, they may engage in devotion service, and slowly, gradually, they may pick up and then make Lord Krishna as a goal or chanting as a goal like that, and move on to the next level. But in this way, this middle section, the verse number 8 to 11 is being described. Well, and that's why now Lord has to describe because these are the four, four or five different categories of devotees. Lord, so now how does it use? What are the common characteristics? Some may be I mean, these characters are there. Somebody may be at a lower level, and these characteristics. Somebody may be always exhibiting these characteristics. So that's a common means. And more or less, you can find some of these qualities, or you can find all the qualities in Nirapeksha Bhakta because he's 100 percent. He's at the pure spiritual platform, then you can see all these qualities. And so those who are lower, then you may not see all qualities, you may not see in full. Sometimes they may exhibit, sometimes they may not perform or exhibit. So, so that that is the reason why Lord is describing this and these things. Now, the first verse, Lord Krishna is describing. Hope that is clear. Uh, any doubts, any questions so far? What we discussed. Is that clear, everybody? If it is not clear, you can ask now, or I will move further. So now, now the first verse we discussed already last week <clears throat> on that point, Lord Krishna is describing. Now, in this today's verse, first verse, Lord Krishna is describing Anapeksha Suchit Daksha Gatas, you know. Udas, you know, Gatam Veda. So, no, that is the second verse, 15th verse. Uh, 16th verse, sorry. 15th verse is Yasmano Dijate Loko, Lokano Dijate Jaya, Arsha, Amarsha, Baya Udvegay, Yo Mukto Yasa Chame Priya. So, this is basically six characteristics as we are describing. So, pure devotee of the Lord, the devotee of the Lord, which are in this category so I described, is not disturbed, he is not putting anybody in distress. He is not putting anybody in difficulty, he is not putting anybody in distress, or he is not agitating anybody. That is the first quality. Esmano, Utvijate, and then Lokano, Utvijate, neither is disturbed by anyone. Many people will give a disturbance. Mm, everywhere, in the office or the temple also, you know, sometimes at home also, sometimes while going in the traveling, so many places this happens, mm, while distributing books also more so happens, uh, so, so, but he is not disturbed by it. Mm. So, who is a great example? Three examples immediately comes to mind. One is Ambarish Maharaj, one is Prahlad Maharaj, one is Haridas Thakur, 
Of course, Prabhupada is an example for every characteristic you can name it. But uh, we are going by the other example, Prabhupada, we know. So, Dharidas Thakur, um, so was he disturbed? He has been beaten at 22 marketplaces. He is not disturbed. Was he disturbed when, um, what is his name? Gopal Chapal was inimical, envious. Uh, he put something in front of his house, like he is doing Durga Puja, Chanting Puja. Uh, he wants to defame him. He is not disturbed. When the Ramachandra Khan sent a prostitute, was he disturbed? He is not disturbed. Uh, he is cool, calm, quiet. He uh, is not agitated, he is not disturbed. Uh, as we discussed through Rama and also, we have said, Lord Ramachandra, no symptoms, no characteristics no, in his face also, he can find. Um, so, so, of course, the Supreme Lord, he can exhibit. But here, yeah, Brahma Haridas, um, so. Lord Brahma coming as well as that is the first example. Wherever he prayed, the 22 marketplace, the persons who are beating him, so he, he was praying to them. He was praying for them. Even he, prisoners also he was praying. You continue, you think about the Lord, you will be delivered. He is staying in the prison. You don't even need to come out. You will be delivered. I am giving his blessings. This is Chaitanya Bhagavat. So that's an exalted personality. That is Aridas Thakur, wonderful example. He's always because he's always chanting the holy name, so that's why he is not affected. That's why the one of the aspect is how one can develop all these qualities. Uh, so there's a verse Krishna Nama Vinu Kale Sarva Shastra Marma Eito. So every all the Shastras are concluding this just Eka Krishna Nama by simply chanting the one time Hare Krishna Mahamata, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Chaitanya Chaitanya it is mentioned. Uh, so, one verse is that, Nama Vinu Kali Kale, Mara Nahi Dharma, Krishna Nama Yeyito Shastra Marma, this is the essence, he is chanting the holy name, that's why Jeeva Goswami said that Kirtanakya Samyogai. He chanted Prabhupada is true even in his class also. Before there is a Kirtan, Jairadam Mahavar or some song. So like in Atlanta, he has some, what is that, Papudu Ijana, singing about these two brothers, Gaur Nathai, most compassionate. Keval Ananda Kanda, Parama Karuna Papudu Ijana. Sometimes Prabhupada has some special songs. Depending on the you know situation, depending on his, uh, what stage what stage is in, sometimes he went to completely ecstatic stage, um, so then he couldn't control himself. Um, so that was a stage in this song. The song, otherwise, even during Jairal Madhu also is is in that already is in that consciousness. Um, he's simply seeing is there on that consciousness is already there with in Radha Madhu in front of Radha Madhu. Is already that is how that is generally the absorption. Mm -hmm. And we chant ideally, we should absorb that's why we have to take the action of the lotus feet of Radha Madhu, Radha Sam Sundar so closely that when we are chanting, we should feel at least theoretically, practically will come gradually as you uh, put yourself a theoretically that I am there at the lotus feet of pinkish, reddish lotus feet of Radha Sam Sundar. I am there as we chant this, the Radha Madhu, we should think in and focus in that. Then gradually at some day we'll come to that directly in the presence of the Lord. As we chant, we are already there. Nama Roba Kumalila is already um, perfected. We are able to see, we are able to be in the past tense, everything will happen. But it, it has um, we have to come to that level. So it has the potency. This Sare Krishna Mahamantra has the potency one time only. But the problem is we are also chanting for many days, many months, many years. But the offenses are there. So that offenses has to be avoided. That's why at least before initiation, this class must be there. It is mandatory. Prabhupada himself has put the money. He gave initiation at that time also. He made mandatory. Even now, it is mandatory. Absolutely mandatory. Because one should know. Before initiation, maybe you may be serious, may not be serious. But at least after initiation, you must be very serious to not to commit these ten offenses of the holy name. So... As for blaspheming the devotees, um, uh, thinking a lot Brahma, Lord Shiva to be equal to or independent Lord Vishnu, 
there. It is not the equal position. So they are servant and Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna is the master. So at the same time, they are not independent either. They are in relation. They are doing the service for the Lord. So that's why they are not independent at the same time. Disobeying the orders of spiritual master, which is very important one, very important not to disobey it, third one. And the fourth one is Shastra Nandam, blaspheming the Shastra. And Bhakti no Thakur and Bhakti Sikshamrata, Chaitanya Sikshamrata is even giving the uh, blaspheming even other scriptures also, not just Vedas uh, sometimes. Uh, so we shouldn't blaspheme. We may categorize it, what they teach or what the different religions or different levels, that we may say. But we don't need to blaspheme those literatures because you know, all, at least uh, the Prophet Muhammad, Jesus Christ, all of them has given, they are the Acharyas. Uh, so for that level, that for that time, that's that's all they can give. Um, so that's all they could consume it. So that's a, we should not blaspheme. So when we say this Shastra Nindam, that also we have to consider. We have to be careful. Um, that is that is the first set uh, in the ten offenses to chanting of them. This before we chant, we should read this. If you remember it, you don't need to read. It. As you go and brush your teeth, you will you will finish it. Just think through it, run, run through it, and then you're done. So that you don't do these offenses uh, during the practice, during the day while chanting. So all this, and the next set of offenses, ten offenses, is uh, the second set is imagination of the holy name. We should not imagine the holy name is like this. Uh, we should not interpret either. That is the second one and the second set. And the third one is uh, thinking Hare Krishna Mahamantra is another ritualistic act because you can come and break coconut or. And do some pujas and you know different things. It's not same or yoga. No, it is not same. Thinking that that is also an offense. And the fourth one is committing sinful act. I am chanting anyway. I am coming to temple. I'm, so this will give this will nullify it. So I, I can perform. So that is also an offense. That is the four second category. Four. And the fifth category is uh, instructing faithless person. That is Uttam Adhikari stage. The Raghunagopakta. He can instruct anybody. And he has Murka, Foolish, Mayavadi, Brahmavadi, Sunyavadi, whoever that is, that he can do. We have no capacity to convert all those. Krishna Sakti, Nahi Tari Pravartan, that is there without empowerment, power of in the previous class when I was hearing today, Chetan Chiltamukla, Prabhupada is telling, in Sanatana Goswami Siksha, Prabhupada is telling. Unless one is empowered by Lord Krishna or is pure devotee, that means one must be receiving power of Atarni. By pure devotee or his representative. That is the process always. And then only we actually can perfect a devotion service. Tare Nahi Pravarta. You cannot change your consciousness, behavior, you cannot attain Krishna Prima, you cannot progress but without receiving the empowerment, the blessings, power of attorney from the spiritual master or in the display succession. And there also, you know, Prabhupada also mentioned. Uh, Krishna Sakti Nahi Krishna Nam for Pravartana, another word is Prabhupada used, I forgot. So even the ch chanting the holy name also, there is another similar line. Uh, we cannot actually perfect our chanting if we are not empowered, not gained, not, not guided, not trained uh, by the pure devotee either. So that also Prabhupada has mentioned in that particular class. So that is very important to have instructing faithless person. Is not good for us. We are not at that level. We can distribute prasad, we can give book if he likes, then it's fine. But we should not argue, we should not discuss. When we see they are favorable, then we can start discussing. But until that point, we should not discuss. We have to analyze. Other according to the other person, we should converse in Krishna on the activities we should engage in. Otherwise, we should limit that. Then the last one is being inattentive to while chanting. That means we should not plan other things. We should not um, think of other you know, thing, other things. Um, we should be very careful at times that Lord Krishna is personally there standing. Um, and so uh, with us is there personally present. Nama Chantamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasavi Purna Suddho Nitya Mukto Abhinnatva Nama. There is no difference between the Holy Name and the person, Lord, personality of God, Lord Krishna, Lord Vishnu. So these are the ten kind of things one should know. So, um, so as I was one is not asmano dijite loko, lokano dijite chaya. He is not disturbing anybody, neither is put in disturbance. Because Arjas Thakur is in this 
We are chanting the holy name every day, so many rounds. He has been empowered by, was he independently doing this? No. Anybody following like that, imitating or following without being uh, guided, without being trained, without being um, parabhatana given by another devotee, superior devotee. So then it won't be effective. So Haridas Thakur was guided by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. He, has, he put himself as Namacharya and he told him, you, know, you should chant over him. So then by Lord's order, he has engaged uh, in this way. He never gave up. Even when Lord has told you, you are already old, you are not well, you don't need to chant these many rounds. He said no. So he was not eating, he was not doing anything else. That does make that, that does not that does not mean that now tomorrow onwards uh, until we finish 16 on we should not. Yeah, it is a good thing to do, but it's not practical always, and it is not it may not be a good thing to do unless we have come to a certain stage. Then we may be able to do if the facility, if the family situation, jobs, all those things has to be considered. Then it's all right. But if you put that rule, then we have to follow strictly. Then it may cause some disturbance. So that these are things we have to see. Or devotion service should not call disturbance, um, then the whole thing, the whole devotion service will come to heart if you, if you do like that. So that's what we have to see and balance these activities. Um, the, that is Aridas Thakur. Prahlad Maharaj, same thing. Prahlad Maharaj also, uh, the, in the Aridas Thakur, I mentioned chanting of the Holy Name. So in this Prahlad Maharaj case, what was the case? Association of devotee. What kind of devotee? A pure devotee, Narada Muni. He simply uh, he heard um, from Narada Muni within the womb of Kayadu, Mother Kayadu, Karanakashpur's wife, and that's all he did. Um, whatever, nine months, maybe John Lipton, they are conscious only from seventh month or sixth month, seventh month, Srimad Bhagavatam speaks. Uh, two, uh, two or three months before that, he's not even conscious. Maybe he's speaking still, maybe suddenly he's going, but consciously, three months you can say that. He has heard, but uh, his mother Kayadu didn't remember anything because he was full of anxiety attached to the body. Uh, so that's why nothing sinked in. So that's why if you are anxiety, if you are so many other things going on, disturb, disturbing things, then it's, it doesn't sink. Um, you, are hearing, you may be hearing closet, but if your disturbed mindset is there, it's very difficult to. So that's why this generally the Kirtan is there. By this kirtan, mind, manatra, yati, mantra. So that is generally set neutrally. We have come to a natural state. Then when we hear, when we do service, while doing service also, so when we are worshipping the deity, when we are dusting the deity, this supposed to chanting should go on inside the heart. So because that will put us in a proper state of consciousness. Then we can do proper service, we can worship properly deity, we can make the garlands nicely, everything can be done nicely. So, in Prahlad Maharaj's case, it is the association of you do. Krishna Bhakti Janma Mula Hoya Sadhu Sangha. Tena to Mukti Anga Sadhu Sangha. To begin devotion service, Sadhu Sangha is the primary. Sometimes we will know, we will realize it. Sometimes we don't realize it because it's Agnatha Sukriti. We don't even know whom we met and how did we get in into the devotion service. We will not, most of the times we will not be able to. Uh, sometimes devotees will be able to know, sometimes many times we will not even be able to know how first time, how I am able to enter into Krishna consciousness. So previously, either knowingly or unknowingly, mostly how many times it is unknowingly. We have received, um, it could be prasadam, it could be um, whatever it is, or somebody's blessings, um, you will not realize, you, you, you are not aware. So um, in this case, uh, the Chatra is telling, this is in Chetan Chetanthra. Most of the verses, what I am talking about is most of them are in Chaitanya Sirtam because it's elaborate subject matter. Chaitanya Sirtam is Chaitanya Bhagavad. Krishna Janma, so the beginning is Sadhu Sangha. Even, the, even after attaining spiritual world also Sadhu Sangha. Sadhu Sangha is so important. It has been given, described so many places. In, uh, in the case of, uh, in the case of uh, Rutrasura, Indra and Udras are conversation going on. Prabhupada is writing in sixth canto. This is a sixth canto. Last chapter, I forget the chapter numbers. Twelfth chapter, I think. Uh, Indra is Chitraketu has chastised him. So, Rutrasura, Chitraketu Maharaj has become Rutrasura by the curse of Parvati Devi. And uh, then Rutrasura started 
Margin. So what are you doing? You are you know, you're not fighting valiantly. What for you are you know why you are not fighting? So what has happened to you? Where is the determination and enthusiasm? I am ready to fight. Even though he is a demon, but he is a great devotee. Mm, so there Prabhupada is mentioning. Tandera Charana Bhaktas and Vas Chadiya Vaishnavas and Star of Aichi Kiva. If one is not trained, one is not associated with the advanced devotee. He cannot actually perfect, he cannot kick out his anardas, he cannot kick out this conditioned life, he cannot kick out, it is not possible. Mm-hmm. Prabhupada is saying that. So that's why this verse is there. Krishna Bhakti Janma Avaya and Tena Avata Mukhya Avaya. Even after attaining to the, in the spiritual, come to the pure devotion service also, still that is because you are always, Krishna is always with his devotees. Mm-hmm. Prabhupada is always, uh, always, devotees are always with another devotee, always in touch with the Lord and his devotees. Uh, so always they like to they get enlivened. Um, so isn't those four verses of the Sloki Bhagavad Gita, isn't that stresses the same thing? Machita, Madhgata, Prana, Bodha, Enta, Parastva, Katayam, Tashyamam, Tushyanti, Jaramandi, along with the devotees only. Uh, in Nectar, Prabhupada, Samrita, Samrita, Dadati, Pradigurnati, Vukyam, Akyadu, Pritchati. Bunjate, Bojate, Jeva Sadvida, Prithi Lakshnam, exchanging, confidentially discussing um, each other, and then prasadam, serving prasadam to others, and you are accepting prasadam. Uh, so, like that, those six, uh, exchange six kinds of gifts, uh, you giving gifts and accepting gifts. Uh, so, all these are very important aspects. Uh, with great enthusiasm, Usaha, Nishya, Dairya, Tata, Tama, Pratana, Sangatya, Gosha, you under the association, so that is this association is very important. We discussed the Prala, the Aldas Thakur is holy name, that is also in Ajamil's case, 6 1 20, I think 6 2 20, maybe. So, Muriyam Anasya Hari Katam Rutam, where it is mentioned that while he is dying, then Vishnu Dutta Sapatana, as soon as he chanted, he remembered his son Narayana. While he was about to die, the soul is being snatched hmm, by Amadutas. As soon as he uttered, remembered Narayana, his son's name, because he is about to go from this planet so, uh, to Amaloka for his simple activities, then immediately remembered. Narayana first is uh, remembered only his son, is calling only his son, but because of the previous uh, Krishna class activities, immediately remembered Lord Narayana. And immediately Vishnu does it right away. There was not much gap. Yamadudas were already there, Vishnudas are equipped also. There it is mentioned, the chanting of the holy name, how effective, how powerful it is. This is the Nama Vas. Then after they left, they gave him then six months, he went to Haridwar and he perfected, then he went back home, back to Godhead, Ajamil. So he has been given second chance, so that's why there is a very nice book. If you want to give somebody, this is the book we should give. At least it will cultivate the mood and it will help them. Mm, at least they will become more serious mm, about bhakti. Second chance. Near death experience, second chance. This is Ajamil story. Prabhupada has given lectures. They compile just like Queen Kunti book is there, like Kapila's instruction is there, like that. There are few books. Mm, Prabhupada, whatever lectures so they, um, Prabhupada has given on that, and they compiled into a book and printed that book. So that one of that book is on Ajamil. Is the, this. In that, this verse is there. Mm, so. The, that's why the chanting of the holy name has the significant effect. Mm. Even a Nam Abbas, that is not even a pure name. So the Nam, one time only. You can perfect, you can kick out all everything and you can attain the spiritual body, enter into the spiritual world. Mm. But Nam Abbas also brings to the liberated states. Nam Abbas, this is the um, this is a secondary results. Anu Sangya Ki Fal. There is a verse in Chaitanya. It's Anu Sangya Ki Fal, second. It's not even primary result. Because primary result character is already mentioned. Pure devotion, the character, what are the characters? Six characteristics. Uh, natural devotion, chapter one, start, starts with. Clays of it removes all the simple activities. Uh, it is a subada, it is auspicious. Sandra, Ananda, we say ecstatic, concentrated bliss. Uh, so that's why he is not agitated. Whatever goes on, Prabhupada had to go through so much. Prahlad Maharaj had to go through so much. Was he agitated? No, absolutely not. He is not even praying for any protection because he is in that state of consciousness. Because why? There is one quality we have to know that. Lord Krishna, whatever he does, it is for my good. Because he is the supreme well-wisher. His plan is the best plan. 
is the maintainer, is the well wisher, and uh, whatever he does is good for me. I don't need to be concerned. I don't need to be worried. He's my father, so he's maintaining. So why I should worry? Uh, so uh, fully uh, has uh, digested this um, these three points. Lord Krishna is the supreme friend, supreme maintainer, uh, and is supreme controller. And his plan is the best plan, and he knows the best. What is best for me? Uh, so if anything coming, so it is by his will. So anapeksha. That's why the next one. Uh, so also is a uh, is not as is not is neutral. Whatever by the will of the providence, uh, I, pro I give the example when Prabhupada is jealous of that. By the will of the providence, how he did have money? What can he do? He doesn't know anybody in US. What can he do? He accepted it. He was not uh, as jaded. He was not. He is uh, is completely. He is not endeavoring. He is not. Uh, no, what may happen, this may happen, that may happen, so I should go back. So, it's an affection. So, there is no really, he is not desiring. He is just simply depending on the Lord. Whatever comes in his way, he will accept. He will endeavor for sure, but he will not think that uh, what may happen, what may not happen. So, he is completely, fully dependent on the Lord's supervision. So, and so in this way we can understand from Chitraketu Maharaj, Rutrasura, their Chadiya Vaishnava star of Aichikeva. Because he has also has how did he become pure devotee like that? He has associated with Narvamani and Angira. They both only for half an hour, one hour maybe instructed, gave the mantra, this is what you should do. One week he went to Vidyadhara planet, another few days he entered into Sankarsana's planet. Mm -hmm. Directly in meeting with Lord Balram, Lord Sankarshan, he has received instructions. He prayed, offered prayers, and Lord Sankarshan also instructed mm, of so mm -hmm. blessings and everything. This has happened to Chaturkhedu Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Later on, while going, because he is Jarpan, he can fly, then, then he saw Mother Parvati sitting on the lap of Lord Shiva. So that time he was laughing. Lord Shiva didn't take an offense, but Parvati gave to an offense. So, but he is not as great. Even then, also, he was nicely. He is offered his obeisances. He was very respectful of Mother Parvati. He is not thinking, oh, why did I get cursed? He was not agitated at all. He is accepted very happily, very peacefully. When Indra was fighting also, he was happily. He was not agitated. He is going to die. Yes. What is the problem? Narayana Parasarvi, Kotasthana, Sargapar, Guru, Tuliyar, Darsana. I am not afraid. My Lord knows me. So, where I will go? He will take me. So, I have full confidence. I have no, I have no fear. You may kill me, you may do whatever. I will fight till my last breath. So, he has that full conviction. So, his full dependence on the Lord because it has come from Nardamani's association, Angira's association, and taking that mantra, whatever instruction. And Prabhupada in Chaitan Sirtamu class, he is telling, okay, tell me where uh, in everyday's prayers this is there. What is that prayer? And Prabhupada is asking a question in the class. Then the devotees they, they picked up, they told him, Yes, Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, Sri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Zadma. Only by association of a pure devotee, association of a devotee to come in disciplined succession, he can attain, understand Bhakti, attain Krishna. Kevala Bhakti, Kevala means only, there is no other way about it. Sri Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakati Zadma. And then how? Bandhu Mui Savadhan. You must be attentive. You must be respectful. You must be absorbed. Savadhan means you should be very alert. Laser focus. That is what Savadhan means. What is that? Prabhupada is saying. Then they repeat it. Bandhu Mui Savadhan. Mate. Jahara Prasade Vai. Ebhava Turi Ajay. Jahara Prasade. As soon as you get the mercy of the, the devotee, Ebhava Turi Ajay. You will be able to cross over. All this, no hesitation, all this will come, we will develop all these qualities by this process only. E Baba Turiya, you will be able to cross over. This has been mentioned so many places. So, where uh, Tate Krishna Vajay Guru Sevan Maya Jala Chute Krishna Racharan. So, by serving Krishna and his pure devotee simultaneously, then you can kick out the Maya, actual energy, three modes of material nature, you will be able to go to higher. Same verse, similar verse is there in fifth canto. Kirat Unanda Pulinda Pukasa Vira Sampa Yavana Kshare in Naja Baba Yudu Pasra Yasra Sudanti Prabha Vishna Venama. In that verse or another verse Prabhupada is quoting this particular verse, I think in Aja this Uttrasra case only. Prabhupada is putting this verse, quoting this verse and is writing in the purport that 
by simply taking the association how he may be from philippines he may be from japan he may be from lowest background sinful and doing all kind of sinful activities before but as soon as he is trained and guided by another pure vaishnava then he is immediately very quickly he will be delivered and going back home back back to god it is guaranteed proper writing in the verse it says Suddhante Prabhu Vishnu Maya, as soon as you chant the holy name, you will go. But Prabhu is writing in this particular place in Srimad Bhagavatam. That it must be another pure Vaishnava. He should be him getting the empowerment. He should be receiving the blessing. He should be trained. He should be receiving. So that is why this is. E Bhava Turi Ajay. Jahara Prasad E Bhai. E Bhava Turi Ajay. Father also says about the Krishna Prem also. The Father line. So it's very very clear. So so then one will be come to this state. Yes, man. All these verses, whatever quality is describing, you follow this, and naturally we will become like Aridas Thakur, who is not disturbed, or Lord Mother not disturbed. In today's life also, you can see that. At least some of what you may not see, but the hundred percent also you can see, like Jan Prabhu, Jananivas Prabhu. You can see that. Um, and I have seen from my Guru Mahārāja's own Ajay Pradhaṣṇā also. I have seen personally. Um, uh, in whatever case may be externally, so many things are happening. All the time it has been lost 10 plus years. Not as did with anything. Uh, he is discussing <laughs> in the bathroom sitting and discussing. He is attending most of the times. He is me- attending meetings while eating or while... Uh, every, every time. He will not deny because this is Prabhupāda's. Because these meetings, GVC meetings, is a purpose only. Because the Iskan is purpose body, he has to attend, he has to make the decisions. Everything he's not saying this meeting means you know I should be chanting, I should be hearing. No, everything is same. Related to Krishna means it's all same only. Everything is for meant for to give pleasure to Krishna and Sri Prabhupada. That is the central point of focus. So then so that's why even though so if we are there, we will not we will not take. <laughs> but he will take. Written. So that so that is the consciousness. So it is at the next uh, completely at the highest level. So, but these examples are there. It's not that we are quoting only Arjas Tapu Pralat Maharaj, uh, the previous uh, in the Shastra. But what about now? You can find. You can find highest qualities. You will find in the pure those who are practicing and proper disciples. Uh, at least I uh, quoted Jan Vas Prabhu, Jan Prabhu, so I quoted already. These are living examples. Those who passed away, those who are there now also. So it's not that they are not present. It is possible for everybody. We all can come to that level, provided we follow what has been mentioned, what I mentioned so far. Asmano, this day, Loko, Lokano, this day, Arsha, Marsha, Bayot, Beger. Arsha means joyous. Mm, so we will not become joyous so now the bonus has come or so now new job has come or I purchased a new home or new car or um, now so I was able to tolerate that just uh, in difficult situation. So now he's very joyful, very happy. You know, I have done a great thing. I have now become a great devotee. No, you will not see like that. The real devotee, you will not. So he's not joyful because he's always alert. Prabhupada always, he's always praying every day. He's telling, you know why I am uh, I'm not um, falling down? Because I am always praying every day. I am very alert. I am always praying to the Lord. Let me not fall down. That means he is uh, willing his servant. If he is willing his master, then I have done a great thing. I am already done. You don't pray. You don't take care. But the Prabhupada himself is praying every day. When he is in front of the deities. This, uh, this is a lesson for us. We should be always alert. And pray to the Lord, that please give me strength and intelligence so that I don't fall down. I don't give up my taste for chanting the holy name. I don't give up the hearing also. I, mean, I forget. So the, now the last line, these four characters. Arsha, Amarsha means envious. The, the pure, for a devotee, the Vaishnava and these four, three, four types of devotees I mentioned. Uh, Arsha, Amarsha means he's not become re- joyous, jumping up and down. No. Whatever the case may be. Yes, the Lord the Guru has given blessings. Let's like move on. And so, Amar Shah means uh, uh, is not distressed either. Okay, difficult things. So many difficult things. What can you do? Can you do anything? No, you can't do anything. So, wow, why do so much uh, distress? Yes, what you can do? You can pray. 
you can uh, do some special prayers to Lord Narsim Dev and Mayapur, or you can ask other devotees to pray. That's all you can do. What can you do? Maybe you can find doctor, or you can find whatever some solution. That's about it. Uh, you can't really miss if Lord is merciful, uh, then Lord and Guru, then maybe that problem can be. Otherwise, it's not possible. It's not in our hands. So that he is not distressed. Uh, so whatever may be happening. So in our own, it may be family, extended family, or maybe known people. It could be happening. So we can control that. But one who is uh, understand, the, so one who is fully uh, in this process, which I am describing, so they will not be distressed. Neither he will be joyous, jumping up and down, nor in a difficult situation also. Pralatma has gone through difficult situation every day he is going through. Not at all, as Ramar is the same thing. Directly, demon was about to kill him. He was not agitated at all. He was standing right there only. He was not even praying to the Lord because he is practicing all nine limbs of devotion, everything. He is using everything completely. Even though he was a great king, he was not attached to any of his opulence, nothing. He used everything in everybody in the service of the Lord only. And so, and that is the beauty of this process. Marsha, Marsha, and Baya, fear. Where is the fear? There is no question of fear for Ratrasura, there is no question of fear for Pladmara, there is no question of fear for Aridas Thakur. Uh, so, when the fast food comes, uh, so many times, testing. Don't think that if the pure devotee is getting the test, uh, don't think that we will not be tested. Who, who will be tested again and again? Depending on what level we are in, accordingly, we will receive the test. And Lord also gives strength to face the test. If you are a little serious, we will we will be given strength also as well. So, but we definitely will be tested because we have to go to the next level. Means for sure we have to be tested. Then only we can. Otherwise, we will be in the same position. We will think that uh, we will be become very comfortable. So, we, our own karma is there, but Lord will make that. Divine God cannot do this. But the Lord will make sure that we will use our own karma only, but He will give lessons. He mm-hmm. will make us. To go next level, become more strong in chanting, more strong in service, more strong in hearing, more strong in uh, everything. We'll become more and more, become come to laser focus. And that's why the tests are very important. Failures helps to focus, um, reflect, and um, correct it. And so, Amarsha, Baya, fear. Um, but devotee for those who are, as I mentioned, Jan Prabhu also, the cancer, is not afraid of anything. So, Jan Nival Prabhu, he also gone through so much in the last, last year, he is going through. We had the procedure and everything. So, but he is uh, humble and calm and quiet and peaceful. Continuing, he is uh, there. So, whatever he can, he uh, is there guiding still, daily worship, everything. He is the one who is. Guru Maharaj has given him the direction that you should go and install the deities and uh, install the lotus footprints of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm-hmm. Him and Mukund Dattaprabhu was a priest, uh, head priest of uh, Shivandavanda. So they did that on behalf because this is a Lord's arrangement. Everything Lord Prabhupada arranges, everything who should do and what and everything. It's not, uh, uh, and nothing is in our hands. Lord knows who is the best person, who is better qualified, everything. And Lord knows how to arrange it. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's will, so his desire will always um, get manifested. And so so that's why it was given. So, so he is not afraid of anything. So when things will happen, yeah, what can you do? You can do. If you need to give up the body today, so they are ready to give, give up. They have no fear. Because of practice, because of the association, because of the chanting of the holy name, because of their service, because of the deity worship, because of their hearing every day. They follow it, no matter what, how difficult it is, how old it is, how old the body is, how much suffering the body is giving. No, nothing will matter. Fixed. Every day is big consistent. Great determination, great enthusiasm. So, we have to take these examples and we have to. We have so many comforts. We don't have many of them, they don't have comforts. But it's simple. So, you hardly eat. It's very simple. And again, because he was there in my home. It's very simple. His eating is uh, very is discreet also. It's very controlled also. Naturally, you'll get it. As you practice, you understand. You, you come to that. Marsha, Marsha, Bhaya, Udvega. You are not agitated either. No anxiety. In this case, anxiety. No anxiety. What anxiety? Everything here, my father and well wisher is the supreme well wisher. Mm, so that's what it is. That's the um, Lord and also Guru, your devotee also is always your well wish only. Doesn't matter how we do everything, still he is always your well wish only. 
So whenever I used to get the reply from my spiritual master, I used to get fascinated. Always the way he writes and everything, it's, uh, it's uh, really there's a completely different consciousness. Uh, just like Prabhupada used to write, your ever well wisher. He's always thinking about us. We think Guru is not thinking about us. But Guru is always actually thinking. Because this is Prabhupada's mission. He has come to deliver. He has come to reclaim all of us. So he's always thinking when the soul will fully surrender, fully perfect and go back home, back to Godhead. Uh, because that is his mission. Uh, Prabhupada said, even one soul, out of so many, even one person will come with, that will be success. Uh, I can offer to my spiritual master, but this is dance of talking about some robot. So that's what uh, the, the Bonaparte spiritual always thinking, uh, is praying, uh, is trying to serve, to make one person, each and every disciple, to become a pure devotee in this life only, not next life. Uh, so that is their anxiety. That anxiety should be there. That anxiety is there for Krishna, uh, for pure devotion service. Not anxiety for any other things. Anxiety for Krishna has to be there. That is a different level. The qualities is here, and that is the material world. This is a pure devotee, but then the proper explanation the purport. You know, a, a opposite is the one who is not a devotee, then yes, anything good thing comes, uh, car, home, or anything good happens, oh, he will be jumping, he will share hundreds of people, he will tell so many people, and he will be fully in happy, jolly mood that day. Mm-hmm. In a lottery, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, so you may get so many different things of this material. You will be joyous like the harsha. Mm-hmm. Amarsha means uh, if, uh, if he doesn't have but others got it, then he will become envious. Then he will be distressed. Oh, this person has the why I didn't get it. So that is uh, that. This is the material. Those who are not devotees, this quality will be opposite. Mm-hmm. Baya. Fear, of course, fear will be there because he's attached to so many things. Of course, you know, fear will be there because his enjoyment will be going away. Then, of course, he has a fear. Or some other Udvega anxiety for sure it is there. Because minute you have something you have accumulated not in relation with Krishna, you will have anxiety for sure. Because, because you know, sometimes accident happens, then you will have immediate anger. To the degree you have attachment uh, minus Krishna, anxiety for sure is going to come. Sometimes it lost days and months and weeks, years also. Mm-hmm. So, because minus Krishna means anxiety will be there for a long time. Then you can't practice devotion properly because of that anxiety. You can't sleep either. So, and that's it. But for devotee, then this, as I described already, chanting of the holy name, the association of devotees, getting mm-hmm. empowered and trained, and uh, so, yeah, the no, association of devotees, chanting of the holy name, to give the examples, and then the hearing also is there. Esyambhai Suryamananam Krishna Parama Purushe Bhakti Rupadhyate Pumsam Shoka Moha Bhayava 177. Canto 1, Chapter 7, verse number 7. The Prabhupada is writing in the purport. So much purport is there, elaborate. One should hear the Srimad Bhagavatam Bhagavad Gita. Esyambhai Suryamananam hearing. How you should hear? Krishna Parama Purushe Bhakti Rupadhyate Pumsam. Bhakti will be generated in the Krishna Prema. Shoka Moha Bhayava. All these four characters, what is described? All the six actually, everything will be perfected. You will develop these qualities. You will not be agitated, you will not be have anxiety, you will not be jumping up and down, you will not be distressed, uh, you will not be fearful at all. Mm-hmm. So all these things will happen. Mm-hmm. We have seen these examples. Mm-hmm. Prabhupada is in a flight a couple of times. These things are already there, shared past tense. In my Gurmara's case also, these also happened. Mm-hmm. In an accident, he came out as though nothing has happened. It, uh, caught, turned upside down. Did, uh, others are in so much anger, he is not. He is just uh, as though nothing has happened. Prabhupada also did that. In a flight also it happened. Accident also happened. Brahman Prabhupada was driving through one time on the flight. Uh, the Tushta Krishna or Pushta Krishna Maharaj was there. Absolutely no, no hesitation. He <laughs> you can't fake it. <laughs> Unless you practice, you are in that level of consciousness, uh, then only you can do that. Otherwise, it's not possible. When you are in the real danger, Mm, we can we can feel we all felt when the earthquake came, isn't it? So you, you can't fake it. So pure devotion is something else. It's a long way to practice. And so that's why the hearing is also there. Prabhupada is writing in the purport one seven seven that if one hears Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavata every day by simply hearing only, he can kick out everything. He can go back home, back to Godhead. Prabhupada is writing just by hearing these two only daily. 
భగవద్గీత ప్రభుపాద హరి పూర్తి ప్రాక్టీస్ మార్నింగ్ భాగవతం ఈవినింగ్ భగవద్గీత బికాస్ ఈ ఇన్సెల్ డిడ్ దాట్ ఈ వాజ్ హియరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిస్ గురు వెన్ ఎవర్ హీ వాజ్ దేర్ హీస్ ఆల్వేస్ హియరింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ హిస్ ఈ నెవర్ ఈ నెవర్ మూవ్ డౌట్ వెన్ హిస్ గురు ఈస్ బేకింగ్ హీస్ దేర్ ఓన్లీ ఈ డి మూవ్ ఆన్ అవుట్ ఎట్ ఆల్ అదర్స్ వెంట్ ఐ హావ్ దిస్ డ్యూటీ టు పర్ఫార్మ్ దట్ సర్వీస్ దిస్ సర్వీస్ బట్ హీ నెవర్ వెంట్ అండ్ దట్స్ వాట్ హీస్ గురు లైక్ దట్స్ వై హీ గాట్ ది గ్రేట్ మర్సీ దిస్ ఇస్ వాట్ వీ హావ్ టు రిమంబర్ This is what we are learning from Prabhupada. This is the first point we have to learn. That's how he got initiated. They all recommend, yes, I know this person. Mm-hmm. Because he, he likes to hear. Mm-hmm. He likes to hear. So what we have to do? If you are followers of Prabhupada, this is the first and foremost thing we have to put in our practice. First, we should be hearing. Hearing has to be done attentively, absorbedly. And we should not miss it. Mm-hmm. And this is the... Uh, practice mm-hmm. by this and this man and this about this hearing this there in so many verses are there 2 to 7 canto 2 chapter 2 parichit now sukadev the previous one was sodha goswami speaking to sanakandam this is now sukadev goswami speaking in canto 2 chapter 2 verse number 37 mm-hmm. uh, there there also it is the um, same thing maybe e satam bhagavatam what is that um, te onante um, విషయ విదూషితాశయం తత్ చరణ సరోరుహాంతికం బై హియరింగ్ ఇన్ ద అసోసియేషన్ ఆఫ్ డివోటీస్ వన్ మస్ట్ హియర్ విత్ ర్యాప్ అటెన్స్ విషయ విదూషిత విషయం మీన్స్ మెటీరియల్ క్వాలిటీస్ మెటీరియల్ కండిషనింగ్ త్రీ మోడ్స్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ నేచర్ యూ నేమ్ ఇట్ బవార్ నవ దిస్ ఫైర్ ఆఫ్ మెటీరియల్ ఓషన్ the fire of contamination so all that te vishaya vidushita asayam punanti tat charana saroru hantikam so because of the hearing bhagavata atmana satam hearing simad bhagavatam in the satam means in the association of devotees with the ear holes yeah they are శ్రవణ పుతేషు కథ సంతం యా సెకండ్ లైన్ ఇస్ శ్రవణ పుతేషు సంతం కంప్లీట్లీ ద ఇయర్ హోల్స్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు సింక్ ఇన్ టు ద హార్ట్ ఇట్ హ్యాస్ టు ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు ద హార్ట్ దెన్ తత్ చరణ సరోవరు హాంతిక దెన్ వి అటైన్ ద లోటస్ ఫీట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ కృష్ణ లార్డ్ విష్ణు బై సింప్లీ హియరింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ క్లియర్ ఆల్ ద డర్టీనెస్ ఇన్ అవర్ హార్ట్ టూ టు థర్టీ సెవెన్ సో దెర్ ఆర్ మెనీ వర్సెస్ సో దట్ ఇన్ దిస్ వే సో వన్ కెన్ యాక్చువల్లీ come develop these qualities naturally if you follow any of this ideal we should follow all this chanting has to be done uh, association of devotees is very important and hearing has to be done. at least these three things uh, has to be done so and service has to be done also that is the that is also there yeah, especially for grahasthas if you are grahastha propas chetra uh, mahaprabhu and satyaraj khan bhamanda was asked by chetra mahaprabhu chetra mahaprabhu said what is my duty what i should do to come attain krishna prema yes nirantar namalo krishna seva vaishnava seva you should do always chant the holy name whenever possible you should serve the lord serve his devotees so as emphasize that propas also emphasize that always chadiya vaishnava seva nistara paichike if you want to be delivered you must serve vaishnava Vaishnava Seva is the better than Lord Shiva also said the same thing. Tadiyya. Tadiyya Naam Samarthana. Worshipping and serving the devotees is better than the worshipping the Lord. The Lord likes that. The Lord himself is running behind the coward boys, gopis, Nanda and Ishoda. He is always running. He is getting great pleasure in doing that. So, he is not so much getting great pleasure by Brahma offering prayers, Indra offering prayers. No, he is not getting that pleasure. is getting pleasure uh, is reciprocating so much and brahma offered so many prayers at least at uh, one word mm, same thing with indra also but when uh, all the gopis are caught boys anybody for immediately lord give full attention so because in the different consciousness different love is at a next level and there is no mixture of anything so really genuinely uh, really crying and uh, caring and loving for the lord so that's why lord is also accordingly is reciprocating with them so let's say the, this was and next was anapeksha suchi daksha suchi means pure externally clean internally clean anapeksha i already told self propose case so 
is the way, will of the providence, whatever happens, you will endeavor, you will go to job, you will do all your duties. You, you will endeavor, try to do best of your capacity. Material duty, spiritual both, there is no problem with that. Uh, but uh, if it doesn't, something doesn't happen, you, despite you doing the work, you, you may not get bonus or you may not get something, uh, result, expected result. It's fine, we will have the providence. If it doesn't happen, oh, that Lord, that's what Lord deserves. So, you, know, you move on. So you are not hesitated. Mm. You will completely depend on the Lord, like Prabhupada did when he came here mm, at that age also. Mm. So, and of extra switch is there is a pure externally clean, internally clean. Externally clean means, yeah, of course, the morning and Prabhupada is telling in the earlier Chaitanya 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 today I heard. Morning and evening two times, twice at least minimum, uh, um, bath should be taken. Prabhupada said so many places. Let's say, um, whatever I, I am mentioning in the classes, when I give class, uh, if Prabhupada's lecture is there, Prabhupada's purports are there, the, from that only I am extracting all this, not from hearing some, somebody XYZ. Uh, so from the beginning, the day I started the classes, it has always been, Prabhupada's class is there already, Prabhupada's verses are there, similar verses, but then only we will extract that and give that, because that is the best. You repeat, you are supposed to repeat what Prabhupada says. And previous Acharya said, that's what you have to repeat. And whatever you have heard from your Guru on this verse related subject, then you repeat that what you heard. And so, more we do that, then more we can actually get the blessings and then more we can focus. Uh, so that is the best way that Sri Prabhupada emphasizes, scrutinizingly read and uh, you hear, then uh, you'll understand everything. This, all the tattvas, all the truths of this transcendent subject matter, everything will be very clear. You just follow the process. Mm. Uh, on a petrol switch, the externally clean, internally clean. Externally clean, twice you should take bath as much as possible. Sometimes not possible, it's fine. If there is service, you get immediately, I have to go somewhere. Uh, no, 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 I have to take bath. No. That you would reject and then you would do the service. Because you have to see what is the priority, urgency. Naturally, you will do every day, but they, if sometimes you may not be able to do. What can you do? You go and finish the service. Uh, so sometimes you have to do. Uh, so Depending on the urgency and the priority, we have to see the accordingly we make. But generally, we should do so. Internal cleansing means through chanting of the holy name, through the service, through the hearing, um, so through taking responsibility for Guru and Prabhupada, whatever Prabhupada says, whatever Guru says. So these are all the ways one can be internally clean. Automatically, our heart gets cleansed because we are getting the mercy. From these avenues, these all Lord's potency is invested in all these places. So then, Sujit Daksha, he will become expert, naturally he will become expert. Uh, so not like Daksha Prajapati, he is expert in something else, producing children. No, the, the devotee is expert in carrying out whatever he takes up. Nothing is impossible for him. So everything is possible. So Prabhupada is able to do so many things. For Jaya. Janani was is able to do so much. Jananda Prabhu used to do so many things. He is able to build Radhayatra gods, he is able to bring Prasadam, he is able to bring Rasri, he is able to bring so many types of people to Lord Krishna and the Lord of Spiritus, Prabhupada and Guru. So he is not was young. He has received so much blessing from Prabhupada naturally. Whoever he comes in touch with, naturally they, they don't even know that he is a devotee, what he is doing, what he is giving. Immediately they will accept because he has received blessings. Krishna's blessing and pure devotee's blessing means he can, anybody gets in touch with him, he can also become like that little uh, attention is there, uh, little favorability is there. Naturally, that person also will accept Krishna consciousness. Uh, so, so that's why these things uh, has to be considered. Um, so, Suji Daksha, expert, you will become expert. And Gata uh, Veda, you will not be, you will not be having any pain. Oh, this happened, that happened, body will give pain. What can you do? So, you may try to use medicines or whatever possible. Otherwise, you are not going to, you will move on. Okay, you will take the treatment because you have to do devotion there, you will try to do. But you are not so concerned, you will move on. So, because this is part of life, this material body means it is going to give problem. Someday or the other. So, it is not going to be perfect at all. So, Udhasina, Udhasina means care tree, neutral. Sometimes we will be criticized, sometimes we will be receiving praise, sometimes good things may happen, sometimes bad things may happen. Not all. Like Prabhupada is always not all. All these devotees are examples uh, we can see, which I quoted, and then now also Prabhupada disciples also we can see these examples. Uh, not all. Um, 
Uh, different states are there. Mm, not everybody that, uh, and that doesn't mean that always neutral means uh, he's not angry, he's not uh, um, saying it doesn't utter a single word. Uh, no, not like that. Prabhupada also became angry for a purpose. Uh, so these things have to be understood. Uh, so Because to correct, if you don't correct, then the same thing they will repeat. So, so um, Prabhupada has, has to do that. And Guru has to do especially. Uh, that is his business. Uh, so Prabhupada had to, because he has a so great mission to accomplish. Uh, if he doesn't do them, uh, wrong example, then everybody will know what kind of disciples are these? Uh, who, has, who is your spiritual master? What organization you came from? Um, that's the wrong example, wrong uh, completely. To, uh, so that's why Prabhupada is very careful. Uh, so in training all of them, and before he left also, he told to cooperate and work through, follow whatever I have given as it is. Don't deviate, don't concord, don't do whatever you like in your kirtan, in your hearing, in your platform, in your establishing temples. Everything is very clear. So, you should be found. That's why more you read, more you hear from Prabhupada, you will know everything, including dancing. So, Prabhupada himself has stopped, sometimes kirtan, sometimes dancing also he showed, not, that's not how you dance. You raise up your two hands and Swami step, you move, move back. So that is the ideal way to dance. So everything you have to learn from the Acharya. So, Acharya Purusho Veda. So, Acharya teaches by his own example how to do everything properly. So, as per Vedic culture. So that's it's uh, very important. Anapeksha Sujata Gata Buddha is you know Gata Vyada. No pains, uh, is not distressed, is not feeling any pain, is not is carefree, is neutral. So in this way these verses are clearly describing these qualities, provided these qualities will come slowly, gradually will come. We may have developed these, but provided we um, follow these things, as I mentioned. The chanting the holy name, the hearing, the service, the association, the association, all these things, association of devotees is the central, central. If that is there, we can develop some chanting, taste and everything, perfect chanting. If that is there, then you can hear properly. So you can also develop strong uh, hearing. It is really sinking into the heart and you are changing our lifestyle and actions and everything. Uh, so, that, that attention, especially the he hearing, the Sangha. Sangha has to be proper. Mm -hmm. So, this has been repeated again and again. Nectar devotion, Rupa was not talking. Srimad Bhagavatam also, there is a verse. Srimad Bhagavatam, mm -hmm. Bhagavat Ardhanam, Asayo Rasika Asayo, Sajadiya Snigde, Sadhu Sandhu Sato Urte. One must hear the Srimad Bhagavatam in the association of the advanced devotees. So, we should not be, we should not be hearing from Bhagavad Sapta and so many of these. Prabhupada never, uh, is, is mentions in so many classes also, in purports also. Where did this come from Sapta business? Uh, so, Parishit Maharaj about today seven days, that's why he has spoken seven days. It's Nityam Bhagavad Seva. Bhagavad is not saying Bhagavad Sapta, it is said Nityam Bhagavad Seva. So, every day. Prabhupada is you know, always uh, morning, every day morning Bhagavatam class is there. Evening Bhagavatam class, this is the practice. Yeah, this is the process Prabhupada has established. In the afternoon or evening or night, uh, Krishna book reading was there. This is the general process Prabhupada has given. So that's what you know, we are emphasized to do at least morning Bhagavatam. So evening Bhagavad Gita. So that's why we should have those books in the office, in our bags, in our cars, you know, wherever. So that at least you, you know, spend one minute, take a gap and you take one minute to look at the verse. And gradually, when you develop that you know, taste, then naturally said every day you'll read a little bit at least. Time will be there. If your inclination is there, desire is there, the Lord will use the time. Lord will adjust everything. Your job, everything he will adjust. He will remove all your clutter, whatever you are wasting time for, unnecessary, unwanted things, all those he will remove. We will not be able to remove ourselves by our own endeavor. But provided if you are in the right association, we will be able to adjust and everything, remove all the clutter, then you will get all the time you need for everything in devotion service. Uh, so this is the secret of success. Is the association of devotees is the secret, right association of devotees.
this. So that is the Satam Prasangat. Again and again, this Satam means uh, uh, Sadhu Sangha, Sat Sangha. Different words are used again and again repeatedly. Not any devotee, but he is advanced devotee. Agartha Kalatum, Namagan Sadaru, Preeti, those, these three. One who is not wasting his time, one is careful about each and every minute of the time, uh, and he has developed taste for the holy name. He is always trying to chant the holy name or doing service or hearing something other in relation to Krishna and Guru. That's what. Right. These are the symptoms we should observe, we should be in that association. Uh, wherever we are, that's what we should be looking after. Other things, you know, so we have to slowly, gradually minimize and reduce uh, because it won't be fruitful, it won't be beneficial for us to actually, because we have very limited time. Uh, we keep on hearing from hundreds of people, then where is the time? We have only limited time. So, so there may be so many followers, but we have to hear from those who has actually really following in line, alignment with Prabhupada and previous Acharya, then that's where we should go. We have to see the result. Uh, how much you know, uh, seriously has made, you may have hundreds of followers, that how many serious um, practitioners uh, and they are, are they creating agitation. That is another thing we have to see also. So, they have created so many, but they are all creating some agitation and creating this thing, that thing, not aligned with Prabhupada. It's better not to hear from those. So these things has to be considered. The result has to be considered. And so we have to verify against what Prabhupada is given in his books, in his classes. Then we should take that association. That will uh, automatically develop all these uh, 26 or 40 plus qualities as mentioned in this particular verse. Uh, I think we have spoken of. Yeah, Padam Khan Maharaj also a wonderful example, recent example as well as Padam Khan Samaras. Yeah, because he has intense devotion, absorption for service to so Jayadvaita Samaras. Uh, that's why he is able to do. He is so much attached. Holy name is always chanting ours, even in our temple. I never used to chant. Huh? Just, uh, even I offered sometimes prasadam. Right up. He used to keep on the side uh, and give it to his servant. Uh, until you know, almost 8.39, many times he was not eating, until next day only again. Uh, so, then he used to take it, yes, not now, even before, before he got the cancer also. He was like that, he was so much attached to the chanting, kirtan, so distributing, uh, expanding the notion of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Sri Prabhupada, as well as Sri Bhakti Chara also. So, is also very strict to be in line with what Prabhupada is teaching. Uh, he never compromised uh, also in the quality of what Prabhupada has given. He emphasized uh, reading Prabhupada's books and following Prabhupada uh, uh, strictly. Mm. So, so that, that way by following these great uh, acharyas and devotees, we can actually develop this quality. It is possible. Uh, so, impossible become possible by this uh, practice in the right association. Okay, with that we will stop here. Let's see if anyone has any questions. We are unmuted, you can ask. You can also ask in person, if you are not able to ask on the Zoom. Uh, on Saturday morning, I am always there at the temple, uh, most of the times, um, so unless I am traveling or something. Uh, so you can ask questions in person on Saturday mornings, 8.30 or 9 um, to 9.30 or 10, yeah, 8.30 to 10 or so, I'm there. You can ask the questions or during the Toksha class in person. And we have May 17th, I think, yeah, another day of Krishna Prabhu's house at this Kattway, we have class in person, 24th at uh, Devananda Ram Prabhu's place, we have, this is in Hillsborough. Both are Fridays, 17th and 24th. 24th that week is Nursing Chaturthasi week, very important week. 22nd is Wednesday, Nursing Chaturthasi. 17th is week before Nursing Chaturthasi. So, uh, yeah. Please plan accordingly. You can please join.
so you can ask questions in person uh, on those days also okay any questions so far any question so the 12 15 we discussed and 16 um, 17 verses of bhagavad gita earlier uh, so the the profile so profile has written a letter to madhukar uh, madhukar prabhu uh, about these qualities especially the, how one should be a small no digite loko, loka no digite chaya, arsha marsha, amarsha baya udvege, mutto es such a mepria. Similarly, 16th was anapexus is the upta udas, you know, gata neutral. So udas, you know, gata is not feeling the pain, it's neutral. So same way, verse number 17, you know, rushati na dvesti na sochita, kamsi is not desiring. Separate from Lord and is a Kamshati. Nasochitra Kam is not lamenting either. Kamshati means desire, not lamenting. Sava Asuba. Sometimes ask people things, sometimes in ask people things, what to do? It's not in our jurisdiction, it's not in our capacity or power. Parityagi. Suba Asuba Parityagi. He will give up, means internally is not attached to the ask people. You know, will try to do ask people, you know, sometimes in ask people things may happen, then, but still he will detach, he is detached from it. Just like the opposite verse is there in uh, chapter uh, 4, I think, yeah. Yes, the survey, samaram, be, kama, sankalpa, jana, agni, dagda, karmanam, panditam, buddha. Yes, sir. Each and every act, yes, samaya, samaram, be, kama, sankalpa, jana. One who is fully situated, transcendental moment is free from every activity is completely free from the bondage. Samaram, kama, sankalpa, jana means he has no, he is not doing anything for his own satisfaction. He is only doing it for Lord Krishna and Guru's hand. Kama Sankalpa Vajjita means no desiring separately from the Lord or Guru. So, uh, just like the same thing here. Subha Asubha Parityagi. Aspiris in Aspiris. Pious or impious? He has nothing to do with it. He simply attached to in relation with Krishna and Guru only. He will do everything for their pleasure as a service. That's it. So that's why he is not Navrushati not He is not envious of anything, he is not uh, distressed of anything, he is not uh, uh, you know so lamenting, not grieving anything, neither is rejoicing, jumping, is taking pleasure. So is uh, is very equi is called equipoised. How one can come when we are uh, performing Krishna as per the as I mentioned already, the chanting of the holy name, the hearing, as well as the Sangha. In the association of chanting, in the association of hearing, in the association of service, in the uh, uh, association of uh, worship in the deity like this. Uh, now we will read um, Prabhupada's letter to Madhukar Prabhu. Uh, Prabhupada exactly quoting the verse, 12th chapter, 15th verse, Asman was Jite Loko. That verse is quoting and is writing an uh, elaborate letter. Letter to Madhukar from Bombay, January 4th, 1973. Prabhupada writing. My dear Madhukar, I beg to acknowledge the receipt of your letter dated December 22nd, 1972. I have noted the content with care. These questions arising between a married husband and wife. You are requesting me to leave your wife and take the one of us thought of life. For these questions, you must consult with, with and take permission from the presidents and GBC. Yes, I know your wife, Leela Shakti, and I know that she is very serious and advanced disciple, but now you are married to her. There is some obligation account to our Krishna consciousness or Vedic system. These things cannot be taken so lightly. Otherwise, the whole thing will become a farce. Exactly, I was discussing earlier in the verses. We cannot give up work. We should not see that occupation duty is something else and spiritually... Everything in relation, whatever, before entering something else, Prabhupada talks about further on this point. Simply get married without considering what is serious nature of the married life. Then if there is a little disturbance or if I do not like my wife or my husband, let me go away. Everyone else is doing like that. So in this way, the whole thing is becoming a farce. You say that your association together was entering your advancement. But Krishna consciousness marriage system should not be taken in that way. That if there is any botheration, that means something is entering your my spiritual problems. So, no. Once it is adopted, the grahastha life, even it may be troublesome at times, it must be fulfilled as my as my occupational duty. Of course, it is better to remain unmarried. Celibate, but so many women are coming. We cannot reject them. 
If someone comes to Krishna, it is our duty to give them protection. Krishna has informed us in Bhagavad Gita that even women, Sudras and other inferior class, a man can take refuge in him. So the problem is there. The woman must have a husband to give protection. Because Prabhupada has arranged marriages for this purpose. Because we are considered to his shelter, then he has to arrange. He has to see for their care and love for every living entity. He cannot leave anybody. Then, just like in Christian church, there is a numerous nunnery for systematic program for engaging the ladies and protecting them. That is also nice. But uh, if there is a desire to union, how to control it? Women are normally uh, as a enjoyment mentality. So, then men, so they are weaker. In some cases, it is difficult for them to make spiritual advancement without the help of husband. For so many reasons, generally he is talking about it. He is not uh, alienating one section of the people is better than the other. In general, if there is a certain bodily um, uh, situation is there. As we are born, certain type of body is there. In that sense, Shastra is talking about Prabhupada is just talking about that. For so many reasons, our woman must have a husband. That's all right. But if once they have got a husband, he goes away so quickly, that will not be very much happy for them. Now, now, I do not know the situation in your particular case. I am simply giving you the general policy or background understanding. We should never think our so-called advancement is be, as being conditioned by or dependent upon some set of material circumstances such as marriage, vanaprastha, or this or that. A very important instruction. So, it takes time. Everything takes time. You give up something and go then, there also you will have a problem. Whether forest or holy dawn, wherever you go. That's why these things have to be consulted, discussed with the realized devotees, advanced devotees, pure devotees. Good that at least this Prabhu has written to Prabhupada, and Prabhupada has given at least. Imagine if the person is not consulted, taken consultation, he himself has decided something. It's not a good practice. Mature understanding of Krishna consciousness means that whatever condition of life I am in at present, that is Krishna's special mercy upon me. Therefore, let me take advantage in the best way possible to spread this Krishna consciousness movement and conduct my spiritual master's mission. If I consider my own personal progress or happiness or any other personal, that is material consideration. See, that is the point uh, we have been stressing. This is the point. That is where everything, everything adjustment, whatever has to happen, Krishna and Guru will take care. And that should be considered. Gurus and Krishna's business is our business. That should be. Yes. My always, if I are saying, when I will go back, come back to God, when I will, one of those will be good, when this will be cleared, when I will get taste for this. You know, once, once you take care of Guru and Krishna's thing, then that will also come automatically. I always think about myself, 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 then that is not bhakti. If they are, there was unhappy adjustment for becoming married, why you got married at all? Whatever is done, is done. That is a fact. But I am only pointing out that once before you did something without proper study of your real responsibility, now you are contemplating again some drastic action in a similar manner. Therefore, consider it carefully in this light. There is one verse from Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> That's the verse we studied today. Yasmano dijte loko lokano dijte chaya aksha amarsha vayo dvege mukto as such a priya. He for whom no one is put into difficulty and who is not disturbed by anxiety, who is studying in happiness and distress, is very dear to me. One mistake of judgment often made by the neophyte devotees, pay attention, is that any time there is some disturbance or some difficulty, they are considering that the conditions or the external circumstances under which the difficulty took place or the cause of the difficulty itself. So we are not looking at the whole picture, we are thinking that problem only. That is, where, that is not the fact. In this material world, there is always some difficulty, no matter in this situation or that situation. Therefore, simply by changing my status of occupation or my status of life, that will not help anything. Because the real fact is that if there is a, any difficulty with others, that is my lack of Krishna consciousness, not theirs. Is this clear? Krishna says that his dearest devotee is one who does not put others into difficulty. In fact, who puts no one other into difficulty. So try to judge the matter on this point. Whether or not you are putting either your wife or yourself into some difficulty. The right understanding of Bhagavad Gita is Arjuna's understanding. In other words, Arjuna to came to the conclusion that he must perform his occupation duty, not a material obligation. For reasons of wife, family, friends, reputation, professional integrity like that. No. Rather, he must conduct the functions of his station of life only as a devotion service performed for Krishna. 
And that's what we discussed in, in the earlier class also, in Krishna book class, uh, reading from chapter 5, first two, uh, two three verses. And that's the same point. Work with devotion. This is being stressed throughout beginning to end of Bhagavad Gita. Nowhere Krishna has stressed that you should give up work, you should denounce. That is not suggested. You are not Arisa Stakur to sit in some place and chant and simply engage in devotions. You have nothing to do with this material world of duty, no work, no wife, no family and everything else. We leave and then go and do that. No, we are not at that level. That means that devotion service is what is important, not the occupation duty. But it does not mean that because occupation duty is not the real concentration, that I should give it up and do something else. Thinking that devotion service may be carried on under whatever circumstances which I may whimsically decide. See, the Prabhupada is clearly making that point. Whimsically decide. That means you are taking it to your own hands and deciding, I should do this. Because you are feeling some distress and you are, you are thinking that. But we should consider make the proper, uh, take the proper decision under proper consultation and guidance from spiritual master or advanced devotees. That should be always. When you enter into Krishna Ram, this should be considered always. Krishna recommended Arjuna to remain as he was, not to disrupt the order of the society and go against his own nature just for convenience sake. Our occupation duty is not arbitrary. That means once we have taken up some field of action, if you are advanced in our understanding, then we should not change it for another. Rather, our devotion is the important factor. So, what does it matter what I am doing? So long my work and energy are completely devoted to Krishna. Just like Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he has no work, neither he has anything to do. Still, he has come here to teach us lesson. He accepts not only his occupation duty as a court boy, royal prince, but also he accepts married life. He enters politics. He is a philosopher. He is even chariot driver during a great battle. He does not give example of himself avoiding his occupation duty. So if Krishna himself is exhibiting by his own conduct, what is the perfection of existence, then we should eat such example if we are intelligent. Even supporting there is a wife at home, supposing there is a wife at home with children, that does not matter. There is no hindrance to our spiritual life. And once we have accepted these things, occupation duties, we should not lightly give them up. That is the point. Of course, our occupation duty as preachers of Krishna consciousness, so we must stick to the business under all circumstances. That is the main thing. The poor, married, unmarried, divorce, whatever condition of life, my preaching mission does not depend on these things. The Varnashrama system is scientifically arranged by Krishna to provide facility for delivering the fallen souls back home, back to God. If you make a mockery of this system by whimsically disrupting the order that we must consider, that will not be a very good example. If so many young boys and girls so casually become married and then go away from each other, and wife is a little unhappy, and husband is neglecting her so many ways like that. If we set this example, then how the thing will go properly? Householder life means wife, children, home. These things are understood by everyone. Why our devotees have taken it as something different? Uh, so, in this way, Prabhupada is explaining very clearly, very, very concerned. Mm -hmm. So, that's why I have introduced this marriage system in our Western because there is a custom of freely intermingling male and female. Therefore, marriage required just to engage the boys and girls in the world. Never mind distinction of living status. But our marriage system is a little different than in your country. We do not sanction the policy of quick, quick, quick divorce. We are supposed to take husband or wife as eternal companion or assistant in Krishna consciousness. There is a promise never to separate. Of course, there is any if there is any instance of very advanced disabled married couple and they are agreed that the husband shall now take sannyas or renounce out of life. Very important point here also. Pay attention. Being mutually very happy by that arrangement, then there is a ground for such separation. But even in those cases, pay attention again. But even in those cases, there is no question of separation. And the husband, even his sannyas, he must be certain his wife will be taken care of nicely and protected in his absence. Now, so many cases are there of unhappiness by the wife who has been abandoned by her husband against her wishes. So how can I sanction such thing? I want to avoid setting any bad example for future generations. So in this way, Prabhupada is very clearly instructing what to be done and what not to be done. So, in this way, by following, occupation duty must be there, either this one or that one. But once I am engaged in something occupation, then I should not change that or give it up. That is the worst mistake. Devotion service is not bound up by such designation. Therefore, once I have chosen, it is better to stick in that way and develop my devotion attitude into full-blown love of God. That is Arjuna's understanding. Hoping this meets you in good health, your ever well-wisher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Samshukopa.
Tā ir mācēt, ka šanādam rāsim atbaudīt, ka tā gļēja, ka kaut pār gļēja gaura, 